Hey everyone, Vincenzo Calla here, and welcome to episode 36 of Top 10. Today, I'm glad to be joined by the Member of Parliament for Ottawa West Nepean and the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of International Development, Anita Vandenbelt. Thanks, Anita, for joining me today. It's such a pleasure to be here. So let's get right into these fun and simple questions. So starting off first, what's your favorite color? Well, everybody thinks it's red because my car is red and my my phone is red, but that's more of a political statement. My real favorite color is baby blue. It's like the color of the sky on a hot summer day when there's no humidity in the air. That color blue. Really nice days and it's the dead of <laughs> winter right now. So I can't wait for those <laughs> days to come again. What is your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book of all time is Shantaram. Uh, it's they now made some sort of a, a, a series out of it. I haven't watched the series. I'm also afraid to watch the series because the book was so good. Um, but it's by uh, Gregory David Roberts, and uh, I, I read it years ago. But I, I read it again from time to time, and I, I read it differently each time, depending on where I am in my life. It's a it's an incredible book. I highly recommend Shantaram. Question three: What's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie, um, it's sort of a toss up. Uh, I'd say my favorite movie of all time is Amadeus, uh, just the music and the the cinematography. And uh, it was probably, you know, at the time, one of the most impressive movies I'd ever seen. But then I've also got another favorite movie, and that would have to be Top Gun, uh, the, the original Top the Gun. Original. <laughs> uh, absolutely loved Top Gun. So uh, I like the series, the, the, the sequel too, but the original can't be beat. So question four now is what is your favorite TV show? Uh, so my favorite TV show, it's not on air anymore. It would have to be Madam Secretary. Uh, I really, really related to that. So uh, that, that'd be my favorite one. Question five, what's your favorite meal? Anything Thai. I love Thai food. So pretty much if you give me Thai food, I'll be happy. Question six, what's your favorite type of dessert? Um, my favorite dessert is creme brulee. But uh, I'll I'll go for uh, you know anything yeah. chocolate too. Question seven: What's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby depends on the season. So in uh, summer, it's camping, particularly swimming in a lake and having a campfire. Uh, but in winter, it's snowshoeing. Question eight: What's a vacation that you've always wanted to take? So I've always wanted to go to New Zealand and it's it's so far that if you're going to go there you actually have to have some time and I never have time so but one day one day I really want to go to New Zealand well New Zealand Australia far places and places you yeah. have to spend like a month in to make it really <laughs> worth it but such great places that a lot of people including myself want to visit one day question nine now is what is something that you've always wanted to do I have always wanted to go on a zip line and I've never done it and I'm a little bit scared to do it, but that's something that I, I watch that. And yeah, I always want to do that. Well, there's the, I don't know if it's still open, but the big one right over the river between Gatineau and Ottawa. So maybe on one of your breaks during parliament one day, <laughs> you can take a little break from the house yeah. and just go do a zip line and go back to the, go back to oh, the hill and just sort of <laughs> go on that, with your day. Would be interesting. <laughs> it would. And, yeah. Question 10 now is one that I always like to ask, which is what is one piece of life advice that you would like to give? Don't be too practical. Um, my life advice is follow your heart, follow your gut, follow your dreams. Uh, everybody always says, well, you know, you can't go work for the United Nations because that's not practical. Why don't you, you know, become a an, an engineer or a lawyer or something? And um, not there's anything wrong with that, but do what you love. Do what you dream big. And don't let anybody ever tell you that it's not possible. Um, just just keep on going. That'd be my advice. So that is all for today. Thanks, Anita, so much for joining me. Thank you. It's great that you're doing this. Well, it was so great having you. And if you liked today's interview, make sure to go check out my other interview with Anita on YouTube for Let's Discuss Politics. To stay updated, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and here on Instagram at BC Productions 25 Check out my website, VincenzoCala.com, and make sure to like and share this video. Make sure to also subscribe to my YouTube channel and choose to get notifications there. The link is in my bio. Top 10 is a VCala production, so until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala, signing up.